Brent Wessler with VRC. Today we're going to be looking at um, Microsoft Power Automate, specifically its uh, ability to do process mining. Um, so what I've done is taken a output from our ERP system, some metadata, primarily invoice procurement, um, you know, bill data, and I'm going to import that into the process mining application that we see here within Power Automate. And what this is going to allow us to do is see where there's bottlenecks within a particular process and then be able to heat map um, those particular areas. So from this screen here, you can start here. You certainly can download some templates. And if you scroll down a little bit as well, you'll see popular templates that you can utilize. Um, in our case, I'm just going to start here. I'm going to give it a name, test uh, procurement. And then I'm going to hit the da import data and data flow and hit continue where it will now prompt for a uh, Power BI space. Um, you don't need to do this. You could skip that um, or you could set up a BI workspace uh, for that purpose. Now, if I hit Excel here on the options and then I hit the upload file, I can browse out and grab my sample which is going to build out everything automatically for us. Um, so I select my account and this uh, will be uploaded into the Dataverse and you'll see um, into the Power BI dashboard you'll see coming in here I have to select the sheet um, which then now shows uh, all the data columns and then I'm able to actually go in and um, transform that data You'll see in the next step, I actually have to map the columns to the appropriate um, required fields. So I'm going to go next here. I'm not going to do any type of uh, transformation. Um, we'll select the, um, you'll see at the top, case ID, activity, and event. So uh, the first thing we'll do down at the bottom, activity. So select that case ID here, and we'll use the date stamp as the start. And then we'll use this as the end and uh, hit the start, save, and analyze. Once you've uh, analyzed and published um, your process mining, this is what you'll see specific to that particular CSV that we provided, which was essentially vendor names and spend. Um, you can see here the summary. Um, it'll show variance cases and activities. Um, and then here on the map, it will show uh, performance. Um, so anything in, in the uh, red, higher, density of red would be bottlenecks within the process. Um, we can see rework. Um, you can see in these particular processes here, they require uh, a, a bit of rework or they're constantly in a circular workflow process. And then you can also see the frequency of um, each of the steps within the process. Now, the nice part here is you can go right into the map so you get a, a larger look and feel. And you can also use the variant DNA, which is basically showing each step of the process and how long it takes and how many cases of that. So you can see here when I hover over, um, this is the invoice entry, the check customer payment, and then the credit memo entry, and then the refund customer. So you could see in this particular case, 51% of the time, there's some level of a credit um, during the payment process. And you can see all the variants of that particular process it just allows us system integrators to have a better feel for um, the particular bottlenecks and performance that we might see within a particular process. But actually, you can use Copilot on the right here and issue certain prompts uh, to give you more information on what's extracted. So in this case, you'll see here what step shows the worst performance, and then it will tell you the step that shows the worst, complete the customer memo, with a mean duration of 22 minutes. And it looks like there's a rework percentage of about 42%, which means that the document or that process requires you to constantly look and uh, involve human labor in that particular process. You can also issue cumulative type query prompts. In the case here, how long does the process take on average from start to end? And it will now s uh, summarize those particular metrics. Thank you, like, and subscribe for more.